Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yesudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today I will be reviewing tinted sunscreens. Let's look at why it is so important, particularly in those with skin of darker color or those with skin conditions that cause discoloration of their skin. Like most people with dark skin, if you'd like to prevent further darkening of your skin color, then it is well worth knowing a bit about tinted sunscreens. Whenever I see anyone in clinic, I try and emphasize that physical modalities of protection from the sun are the most important. This includes wearing a wide brimmed hat or using umbrellas, photoprotective clothing, sunglasses, seeking the shade and avoiding the midday sun. Sunscreens are therefore secondary to these modalities and should be used as an adjunct. There is some evidence that our diet will help us maintain younger looking skin and I've previously done a video on this topic. To understand sunscreens, we need to know a little bit about sunlight. The wavelengths that we need to be aware of includes ultraviolet light and visible light. Ultraviolet light, which is about 5% of the solar radiation, includes UVA that causes aging and B that is implicated in sunburns and skin cancers. Visible light comprises 44% of sunlight that reaches the earth. It can also come from artificial sources, including medical devices, phone screens, and light bulbs. Visible light penetrates deeper than ultraviolet light and causes darkening of our skin. Most available sunscreens at present contain organic and inorganic filters that protect us from ultraviolet light, but not against visible light. SPF denotes UVB protection and a star system is for UVA protection. Sunscreen filters are made small, otherwise called nanonized, so that we cannot see them when it is applied on the skin. It may be cosmetically a good camouflage, but it's a huge problem when we are trying to treat skin conditions that cause pigmentation. Patients with post-inflammatory pigmentation, melasma, lichen planus pigmentosis, note that their skin darkens even after they use conventional sunscreens. Similarly, those with skin of color who want to maintain their color and prevent tanning need to avoid visible light, not just ultraviolet light. So what's the solution? New sunscreens have added visible light filters, including iron oxide and pigmentary titanium dioxide. These are called tinted sunscreens and reflect visible light. This has two significant benefits. Firstly, it offers protection against visible light and therefore its consequent pigmentation. And secondly, it can be tinted and therefore it can match the color of the skin, whether it is light or dark, making it cosmetically attractive. So it's a win-win situation for anyone who wants to preserve their skin color and have a sunscreen that is not very visible. Let's look at a few practical considerations when using tinted sunscreens. This is from an excellent review on this topic in the Journal of American Academy of Dermatology. Consumers should choose a tinted sunscreen that contains iron oxide or pigmentary titanium dioxide and it should be labeled broad spectrum and have an SPF of at least 30. Consider your skin tone when you choose the correct shade of tinted sunscreen. Skin tone refers to the individual surface color which ranges from fair to medium to dark. Remember that tinted sunscreens can stain material like clothing, towels, facial masks, but the stain can be removed with regular laundry detergents. Next, what order do we apply our creams? This is again information provided by the American Academy of Dermatology. We need to wash our face first, use a mild cleanser or soap and gently pat your skin dry. If you have any skin condition, apply the prescribed cream or ointment first. When you're applying the cream around your eye, use your ring finger because it's the weakest finger and will not pull too hard on the delicate skin. Then apply the moisturizer and sunscreen and finally you apply makeup. Remember to reapply sunscreens every two to three hours. Sunscreen should be dotted to the cheeks, nose, forehead and chin, followed by massaging it gently into the skin for even coverage so that it can mask the discoloration and proper blending with the skin's hue. Finally, let's look at the various stinted sunscreens available in the market. There's an excellent table in the American Academy of Dermatology review article mentioned earlier, which looks at the sunscreen that is most cost effective. The Australian Gold seems to come up on top, along with others like Stream to Go and Super Go. These are also recommended. I will include a full list in the text section below the video, so you can look at it if you need more information. 
In the UK, Bioderma Photoderm and Anthelios UV Immune Sunblocks are other options, but many of the products available in the US are also available online whether we live in the UK or any other country. So in conclusion, whether we have a skin condition that causes darkening of the skin or we want to maintain and protect the color of our skin, using tinted sunscreens may be the best option, but only as an adjunct to sun avoidance and physical protection like wearing a kappa hat. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.